All right, my friends, question. Ever see color bend? Well, we all have, if you've ever seen a rainbow. You've seen light bend. See, that's what a rainbow is. It's bent light, basically. No matter where you are in the world, rain plus light equals rainbows. The size and the shape may vary depending on where you are. For example, while we usually see rainbows as arcs or as like swatches, they actually do exist as complete circles too. See, the lower half is below the horizon, but if you are flying in a plane, or if you're in the mountains and the sun is particularly low, you may just see more of the circle. Pretty cool. All right, a few facts for you. Light is actually made up of seven colors. They come in a very specific order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. You're thinking, how do I remember that? We have an acronym for you. Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Biv. Those are the seven colors, starting with red, ending with violet. But how exactly is a rainbow created? A rainbow is formed when light is bent and the colors are separated. Each of the colors bends at a different angle, which is why they spread out into a rainbow. And this light bending phenomenon happens most often when light shines through water droplets. So of course the biggest water droplets, hence the storms that create those rainbows, those are the brightest rainbows. Big water, big rainbow. That's why we see rainbows on rainy days. But now did you know you don't need the right weather to create a rainbow? I'm serious. Light can be bent in other ways, which means we can actually fabricate a rainbow without rain, indoors, in the dark, with a flashlight and a CD. And actually we tried this at our office, watch this. What's going on? Well, the reason the light bends is because of the grooves in the CD. The grooves break up the light, separating the colors, and the shiny surface of the CD reflects well. And if you move that flashlight around, you can play. Play, find different rainbow shapes. Now bending light is a phenomenon called refraction. Not reflection, refraction. So not only are indoor rainbows possible, now you can make a rainbow on a windowsill and rainbows in the dark and rainbows in the backyard using things like water in a bowl, a mirror, and of course our trusty flashlight. And that, my friends, is today's Learning Lab, Indoor Rainbows. We'll be right back.